Merry meet again, everyone. Um, I found a way to do this quickly and easily and so that it works. So I wanted to come back and show you. And also, I got some more information downloaded into my conscious brain um, about herbs and plants that I wanted to share. And that has to do with choosing which ones to work with and um, yeah, figuring out which ones will be of help to you at the, at the time. Another way to choose them is to, um, I, it was obvious to me and I didn't put it in the video, so this is the little clip I'm adding in, but another way is to ask for guidance um, and become receptive, meditative, and um, release attachment to getting an answer right away. Just have faith that the answer will come to you. Um, the clearer your vessel is, your body vessel, the better this works, but nonetheless, you know, give it a try. Um, so, for instance, you might just be feeling like you want to change and not know what's wrong, and you could ask your higher self, your spirit guides, etc. Um, what are some herbs or foods that would be good for me to work with? And of course you can do the opposite and say, is there any herbs or foods that uh, I need to get rid of right now to make me feel better? Um, but you can do that, just ask, you know, are there any herbs, crystals, etc. you can do it with uh, anything. But since we're talking about herbs, are there any herbs that would be beneficial for me to work with right now? And if you have a specific dilemma, something that you're trying to change, you can do this as well. You can say, um, what would be the best herb for me to work with for healing my anxiety, for instance. Some herbs work better with some people than others and in certain times. So when you, if you were to just look up herbs to help with anxiety, you might come up with a whole list of them. But um, the one that's, and some of those will, you'll have a very slight benefit from, some you could feel a whole lot better from, um, some you might not even be able to feel any difference from. Um, so that can be really helpful in asking which one would work best with me right now. Uh, because, you know, it's just, I don't know why, but <laughs> it works. Okay, so I've, I've figured out how to fill them more quickly. I think it was just getting the hang of it, really. You want to open the pouch widely and hold it here so that it stays open. And I'm making a bit of a mess on my ironing board, so you may want to use a plate or something. So, or a clean, like a piece of paper or a coffee filter or something like that so that you can fold it and um, put them in here, use a filter, uh, not a filter, a funnel, you could also do that, but now I'm getting bigger, bigger uh, bunches of it in my fingers here, it's moving more quickly. So plants definitely communicate with us, um, thinking of communication only in verbal context like thinking that they're going to put words into your, you're going to hear words from them, is really limited. Um, I don't know, maybe if you meditate enough and you're tuned in enough, you can actually, they can actually speak to you in English and um, you can hear it in sounds, I'm not sure. But uh, what I have experienced is both with crystals and with plants, they will communicate with me in a couple different ways. Um, I can feel their vibration, and you can too. To some extent, everyone can feel that. I mean, you just think about the way you, you feel when you approach certain flowers. They, they give up a vibration and you feel something, right? That's communication. They're communicating their essence to you, and you're receiving it. Um, so I sometimes feel the communication and I will feel drawn to an herb um, 
and I frequently, if I don't know uh, why, like in my memory, I have certain remembrances of herbs and plants um, <clears throat> and how they correspond to things. Um, sunflowers are one that I find particularly powerfully obvious. They have this sunny energy. They're really good for happiness. And um, so I just, you know, I knew that without even looking it up. So there's some of that that goes on, but also if I, I don't know why I'm feeling drawn to a plant, I will look it up and I, I can't think of a time when I've done this and I haven't gone, oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. You know, it's just instantly clicked. Um, and I have definitely found, found myself like drawn to certain foods, certain plants um, at various times and I didn't know why. Okay, see, and that's how long it takes. Um, I started thinking about lemongrass, for instance, earlier this year, and I just kept thinking of lemongrass, and I could smell it without it being around me, um, and I didn't know why. I just was very attracted to lemongrass, and then I looked it up, and I was like, because that's what I need in my life right now, <laughs> the, that power. Um, so I believe that there's some sort of give and take, I mean, it doesn't really matter too much to me whether that's just my intuition, my higher self, my spirit guides telling me lemongrass, or whether it's the lemongrass itself attracting itself to me, like we're magnetizing each other, and the lemongrass is saying, hey, you know, I'm here for you. Um, I do think it's a combination, and sometimes one, sometimes the other with me, what I experience, but... Um, so I, I definitely feel like they communicate with you. I know that they communicate with you through just vibrational frequencies. Another way, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little off track because I'm multitasking here. Here, let me show you because this is just so quick and easy. All right, we just fill these up. And I found my, this is not a curling iron, this is a hair straightener and this works beautifully. A uh, curling iron might work beautifully as well. My iron just wasn't getting hot enough, so, you know, be safe, pay attention to what you're doing when you're doing this, um, but really, it's just as simple as getting it filled enough and then um, closing the gap, and with this, oops, you can't, you can't really see, here we go, with this, just pressing it in between and holding it for a few seconds. Then you check to make sure it's sealed, but it's been working just wonderfully. Okay, so um, another thing I was gonna point out is, um, now I lost my train of thought, sorry, here we go. We're done, ta-da, so that's some St. John's work. Um, I think they also, communicate vibrationally um, and somehow they communicate and they, they come into my thoughts. Like I said, I thought about lemongrass. The word lemongrass came into my head. Um, so I do feel like there's a certain magnetism between your higher self, your soul, your spirit guide, your intuition, etc. and different herbs, plants crystals, etc. Um, and you put out vibrations, like vibrational requests, wanting assistance with something, say depression, okay? You're wanting assistance with that. And when you're on the right frequency to receive it, I feel like various things in nature, crystals, um, herbs, foods, etc., will respond to that and say, hey, I'm here, I'll help, and that will come into your mind. Um, you can, you know, if that's not happening for you, if you're not there yet, and I feel like I've become better at this over time through evolving my spiritual practice um, and making it a higher priority so that I do more meditation, I do more 
um, chakra clearing. I do more um, of various things, uh, but just spiritual stuff, spiritual work, energy work, etc. Um, if you're not there yet, you can just look online, look up correspondences for whatever you're looking for. If you're looking for something to help with your depression, look up herbs or crystals uh, that can help with that. And then you can pick the ones that stand out to you or the ones that are easily accessible to you, etc. And do it that way. Um, you can also, you know, take the time to just read up and learn about herbs and crystals and things. And even when you forget that consciously, um, at least some of that stays in your subconscious mind. If not all of it, that information stays in your subconscious mind. And you may be able to intuitively um, come back to it. You know, you may think of like... St. John's Wort or something later on when you're depressed, <clears throat> having seen it. So those are a couple ways to choose your herbs and uh, crystals as well, <laughs> but your foods, your herbs, etc. Um, I, I tend to pay attention to how I feel when I'm, you know, I get something like that also. Um, it, because people can, if you become addicted to things, you can, um, they'll come into your mind, obviously, and you'll want them, and you may misunderstand. I don't really think that's a concern with things that are healthy for you, but that is a concern with things like meat, dairy, eggs, tobacco, um, GMO'd foods, uh, corns, GMO, and so forth. Here we go, simple. And now I've got all of those bags done. It didn't take me long at all, maybe 15 minutes. Okay, so that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everything. And until next time, Mary Park, Mary Megan.